Welcome back to another OBS tutorial. In this video, we're going to be setting up OBS to record our desktop. So we're going to make a short video just recording whatever's happening on our desktop and we'll save that file to our computer. So the first thing we're going to want to do is get into the settings. We looked at settings a little bit last time uh, and we're going to go to output. This just shows us some options for under recording where we can save our videos to on the computer. So you can just look here and see Right now, my videos are getting saved to my videos directory. I think that might be the default, but this can change depending on your operating system. If you're on Windows, it might get saved somewhere else. But, but for the simplicity, let's just right click over here and go uh, create new folder. And I'll call this OBS recordings just on my desktop. So now I have an empty folder on my desktop that's called OBS recordings. And so I want to save the videos there that I record. So I'll click browse and I'll just go to my desktop and select this new directory I created and click choose. So now we see the path, that's where they'll get saved. If you have an external hard drive or a secondary hard drive uh, or maybe even a network drive, you can save your, your videos there. So this is an op a good option for if you have something more advanced you want to do. But for now, I'm just gonna save them directly to the desktop. Uh, and then I'm gonna say, record a high quality, medium size file. We could change the quality if we wanted to. Lossless is gonna be a very large file but it's gonna be also lossless quality. No quality will be lost. Um, but high quality will compress it just a little bit, but it'll still be good. This is what I do for, uh, I'm using this setting right now to record this video. And then the recording format, I'm gonna leave it at MKV. You can also do MP4 um, if you struggle playing MKV or if it doesn't work in your video editor or something. Uh, and then the encoder, I'm gonna just leave. So I'll leave everything by default, uh, except for changing the recording path. Okay, I'll click apply now. The other thing I want to change before I add my source is under video. I just want to make sure that these numbers are the same. So the base canvas, I'll do 1920 by 1080 and the output scaled, I will also do 1920 by 1080. So you'll just want to set this, basically the, the resolution of your monitor is a good thing to do. Then I'm doing 60 frames per second. Uh, you could do that, that means it'll be more smooth. Every second it'll capture 60 images of what's happening on your desktop. So I'll click apply and okay. Uh, and then we'll just go to sources and I'll click this plus sign. And we have all these different options for sources that we can add. So I'm going to add the screen capture and it pops up with a dialogue here and says, do you want to add an existing one or create a new one? Well, I'm creating a new one because there are no existing right now. So, and I'll just call it uh, screen capture. We can leave this name the same. And then it shows an, a preview of what it will look like. And I can choose, do I want to capture the mouse cursor or not? By default, that's checked, so I'll leave that. If you have multiple monitors, you can do this drop down and select which monitor you want to record. And then we'll just click OK. And now if I uh, hit the start recording button, it'll record our desktop. And it looks like it's not recording any audio right now because I didn't set up audio. So it'll just record our desktop without any sound. So I'll hit start recording. And we see this is just showing here that it's recording and the bottom it shows us how many seconds it's happened, five seconds, six seconds, tells us it's at 60 FPS and how much um, CPU processing power we're using. So if I minimize this, uh, I can just go and do something. I'll click on the start menu. I'll go into games. What games do I have here? Nothing much. So uh, now I'm going to stop the recording by clicking here and I'll go to stop recording. Uh, now if I want to watch this, I can minimize this again and I'll go to OBS recordings and we see there's a new uh, video file that's been created and if I click on it, it'll play this video. Oh, it's going to open it up to edit it in shortcut right now. So I'm going to change that by right clicking, going to properties. This is under, under Linux and I'll say uh, open with VLC media player set as default. And so now I can play this with VLC media player. If uh, And this is just a video of what we just recorded. We see down here at the bottom, it's playing along. We don't hear any audio because I didn't record any audio, but it is recording exactly the steps I did um, when I was telling you about the video. So here I'm going to minimize. We see myself going to the uh, bottom left hand corner and hovering over games. And then we'll get back into OBS and stop the recording. Um, another way that you can start and stop recordings, if I close out of this, um, we can hit start recording. And notice in the bottom right hand corner, we see it, the, the OBS icon with a little red circle by it. If I right click, I can go stop recording and I can right click again and just go start recording. So I don't have to get in every time. We see new video files are be, being created every time I do that. Stop recording, right click, 
start recording and it'll create a new video file and uh, you can leave this going like my kids do this sometimes and they they do like five hour videos they forget like they go to sleep and it's recording all night so it'll record as long as you have hard drive space um, I'm not sure if there's any limitation so be kind of careful don't forget that it's recording down there uh, and then this will and that's another thing if you close I think well if you close out will it stay yeah I guess it will close sometimes it'll stay minimized uh, maybe that's if you just minimize it oh that's right if you just minimize uh, it won't sometimes on Windows it won't show down here but the icon will still be there in your taskbar uh, well that's all for this video if you have any questions or comments um, please leave them below in the next video I think we're pretty soon here we're gonna start adding in camera and different sources and learning how to capture audio and doing some more advanced things but thank you so much for watching and I look forward to catching you in the next video